Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. Mochen Laira Online Smicha. There's, uh, we know we say the Berchus Hashachar in the morning, thanking Hakadosh Baruch Hu for all the good uh, things that He's done to us. It gives us kaiches, it gives us uh, strength, and every day is all new, fresh and new. But there's one bracha that's very controversial. It's so controversial that it's not mentioned anywhere in the Gemara. It's not mentioned anywhere in. Uh, and uh, it just comes later as a takana saga oinim, and so much so that some disagree. The Beis Yosef was very much against it. And this is mentioned in Shulchan Aruch Simen Mem Vav, and I'll read it from the Alter Rebbe. The Alter Rebbe says in Simen Mem Vav, Siv Vav, Bimdinos Elu, in these cities, these countries, Noyegin Levarech Hanoisen Layav Kayach. The custom, yes, is to say the bracha Hanoisen Layav Kayach. The Taknu Againim, and this is a bracha that the Gainim established after Talmud, after the time of the Gemara. Why wasn't this around earlier? Because it's specially unique from after the times of the Gemara. The world in general became much weaker. And yet, the Abishta gives us new Koyach to survive every single day. The Kamesha Amra, as Chazal say, Chadashim labkarim rabba menasecha. The Abish, the, the uh, person deposits deposits his neshama. Uh, usually, when uh, when a person gives a deposit, and the the the, the, the nifkad, the nifkad uh, watches it, then he gets it back, used shashin. However, the the Eden, we give the neshama to the Abish to every evening when we go to sleep when we're tired. And he gives it back to us all fresh and all energized. So Rahu Againim with Takin Bracha Allah Chesed Agadal Azah. The Gainim felt that it was fitting to make a special bracha for this. And the Al Rebbe goes on to say that the Beis Yosef brings the Yesh Mefak for Kimla Amra. There are those that say you, you shouldn't say this bracha. You can't make up a new bracha that's not mentioned in the Gemara. Yet, yet the Al Rebbe says it became a common practice, and it's so much so. That even though the Beis Yosef himself was very much against it, and so the Chayyim the Sfardim should not be saying it, but because they found that this the Arizal agreed with saying this bracha, today's most even most of the Sfardim say it. What is this? Uh, there's a beautiful story that the Rebbe once said, showing the Mister Snafish of a Chassid of Shmuel of Itten, that of Shmuel of Itten once told him that he when he, when he went through the suffering in the Russia. <clears throat> with the Russian soldiers, the Russian army, or wherever he was in the cell, he one time was so uh, tzimished that what bothered him, the only thing that was on his mind is he was saying, he, did, he didn't remember if he should say, Hanoi saying, La Yoev Koyach, or Hanoi saying, La Oyev. Oyev means a tired. Yoev is really, uh, means not, Oyev doesn't mean, Yoev doesn't mean tired. Oyev means, so Hanoi saying, La Oyev Koyach. Whoever is tired should get strength. What is yoy? If yoy means the ones that, that one who is going, uh, the one who is working. What is uh, and he, he the Rebbe trying to the Rebbe trying to prove that this is a uh, chassid as he's in, in a state of mysterious nefesh. What's on his mind is 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 it noisin le yoyev koyach or noisin le oyev koyach. Either way, so the Eibushter gives us back our neshama all energized. Even though at the end of the day it was we, we were very very tired. Now Remendel Mivarki said the pshat hanoisin leyoyev koyach means it's really not possible for a person to understand how the tzaddikim are able to survive through all the tzaddikim of the the Yiddish people have in the Golos, and everybody's kvetching to them and complaining to them and they have tzaddikim. How is it that they're able to survive? But the Eibush der gis koyach. To the Yoif, the tzaddik that's always on the go, always busy to help for another year, the Abishta gives him koyach, despite the fact that he's always hearing peklach and peklach of things of what he has to daven for. Uh, as, as the Chazal tell us, So maybe the, the tzaddik will say, to uh, uh, all this pile up of bags of trouble. And bag of tzaddis. So the Abisha says, I guarantee you, 
that I will give you Kayach to make it happen. Now, Be'emes, it actually says in Svarim that uh, this bracha is really for the Yidin to survive during the suffering of Golas. And it's, 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 it's actually hinted in the fact that just like in Shemayin Esrei, there, are originally, there originally were 18 brachas, Shemayin Esrei, and there was a bracha that was added due to the circumstance at the time of the bracha of Allah Mashinim to, to correspond against that, uh, similar to that, we have the eight original 18 berchas hashachar, and, and due to the time, the circumstance of the time, we needed an extra one, the bracha of Anais and Le'ev Koyach, to fight the Malshinim, to fight what they were, the, the weakness of the, 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 the due to the Sheba the Golos and the, and the Oyla Parnasa and how the Eden are being persecuted and all that. So uh, the Eden need a, 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 space, a special boost of energy to uh, to be able to have Koyach to survive this. And this is what the Pasik, this is what this brach is all about. I actually saw a beautiful remez. Hanoisen Layoif Koyach, the Rashi Tevis is Kalo. What's the significance of Kala? The significance of Kala is a Kala before a Chasna is so busy, so, so busy, so many issues she has to take care of, prepare for the Chasna. Yet you will never see a, ka- a Kala gang overwhelmed, tired. She, because she's in a state of simcha, a state of, of happiness and excited, you don't get tired. And this is what we're saying. Uh, Yid uh, serves the Ebishna, but simcha, he'll never, he'll never have a problem of, of tiredness and uh, he, because he has the motivation of, of uh, the simcha that he's connected to the Abishter.